Be sure to subscribe to our channel. We publish new videos every day. Don't forget, grab your smartphone and download the Lava Matra app and stay in touch. Guru Maharaj's message is your advantage. The following is a Zoom meeting given by His Holiness Jaya Patakaswami Maharaj on September 12th. 2020 in Sridham Mayapur, India. The Zoom meeting was held with the Houston devotees. Here in uh, Houston is Sun. So I'm very happy to be here in Houston is Khan. And um, I'm very grateful that Allah Mukha has uh, invited me. I'm very grateful that Kamal Mukha had invited me. And all the uh, leaders of Houston is Sun have welcomed me. And all the leaders of Houston Iskon has welcomed me. I'm very grateful. So I'm very grateful. I came to Houston on the invitation of uh, His Holiness Tamal Krishna Goswami. I, uh, I came to H Houston in the invitation of Tamal Krishna Goswami. Many years ago. Many years ago. And uh, at that time there was just a hall, but since then uh, there have been a uh, Temple and many other facilities. So that time there was just a hall, but since then there's a temple and many other facilities. So, the temple, the deities, everything has expanded. The temple, the deities, everything has expanded. And uh, I'm glad that I uh, somewhat involved in the temple. So I'm glad that I've been somewhat involved in the temple. And uh, I chanted that Prabhu, he personally came and uh, was serving me and helping me. And Shamsundar Prabhu, he personally came serving me and helping me. So, he was the Kamamukha was a temple president in uh, New Orleans. Previously, Kamal Mukha was a temple president in New Orleans. And he sent it to Houston. Then he shifted to Houston. So I'm happy that he's serving the deities in the community there. So I'm happy that he's serving the deities in the community there. When Prabhupada gave me sannyas 50 years ago. When Prabhupada gave me sannyas 50 years ago. I was the 11th sannyasi. I was the 11th sannyasi. In Islam. In Iskon. And uh, Prabhupada said that I uh, should engage my own Bhakti, my mind, my words, and my activities in the service of Krishna. And Prabhupada said I should engage my calm, mono bhakti, my mind, my activities, my words in the service of Krishna. In this way, I should be fully engaged in the Krishna's service. And in this way, I should be fully engaged in Krishna's service. Uh, then uh, he taught a mantra from the Srimad Bhagavatam. And then he taught me a mantra from the Srimad Bhagavatam. And he said, Lord Chaitanya would chant this mantra after he took sannyas. So, and he said that Lord Chaitanya chanted this mantra after he took sannyas. This Avanti Brahmana, or Jain, he took sannyas, Chidandi sannyas, and chanted this mantra. The Avanti Brahmana from Ujjain, he took sannyas, Tridhandi sannyas, and he chanted this mantra. So, it means that I will cross over 
this ocean of birth and death it means that i would cross over the this ocean of birth and death following the uh, example of the great souls who have gone in advance so following the footsteps of the great souls who have gone in the past by serving the lotus feet of mukunda by serving the lotus feet of mukunda or krishna or krishna so uh, so far well I give me a lot of service. So Shila Prabhupada had given me a lot of service. And uh someone asked what was the secret. And someone asked me what is the secret. Prabhupada gave me so much service. I had no time for anything else. Prabhupada gave me so much service. I have no time for anything else. I still I have so much to do. Still I have so much to do. And uh Prabhu gave me like fifty or more instructions. And Prabhupada gave me like fifty or more instructions. And uh, every one of those instructions is very difficult to achieve. And every one of those instructions are very difficult to achieve. Like he said, I should organize a distribution of ten thousand Mahadev books a month. And he, like he said, I should organize ten thousand. This distribution of ten thousand big maha books a month. Hundred thousand small books. Hundred thousand small books. I was sent to about seventy thousand book points a month. So that that score that would score about seventy thousand book points a month. That was in the seventies. That was in the seventies. I don't know what that would be now. I don't know what would be, what would that be now. But I'm just trying to realize that. But I'm just trying to realize that. He also told me to expand the congregational preaching. He also told me to expand the congregational preaching. He made me a member of the GBC. He made me the member of the GBC. He made me a BBT trustee. He made me a BBT trustee. And he told me to develop Mayapur. And he told me to develop Mayapur. To help to construct the TOVP. To help to construct the TOVP. And uh, he also told me to uh, to develop the uh, exhibits. And he also told me to develop the exhibits in the TOVP. In the TOVP. So and many other things. And he said many other things. I got the Bhakti Vedanta Swami Charity Trust. Like the Bhakti Vedanta Swami Charitable Trust. One of our purposes is to unite the stars of Thailand. One of our purposes is to unite the Saraswat's family. So, I uh, I was many people gave me a set of Bhagavatam on the Bhadra Purnima. Many people gave me a set of Bhagavatam on Bhadra Purnima. Then I understood twenty sets to the Gaudiya Mass and Mayavar who had Mayavar. I and I distributed twenty sets to the Gaudiya Mats in Mayapur who had libraries. There's another like a fifty-six colleges and libraries to write out again. So there, there is another fifty-six colleges which has libraries nearby. They would be getting also to the uh, to the Gaudiya Mats around India and also to the different Gaudiya Mats around India. Yeah. Oh, we're trying to get them to read Prabhupada's books. So we will try them to get to read La Prabhupada's books. So they can understand why we address Prabhupada so greatly. And they should understand why we address La Prabhupada so greatly. So, like that, and many things. I mean, I'm not. It takes the whole night to develop. But there's many things that Prabhupada asks you to do. It will not take the whole night to develop, but there are many things that Prabhupada asks me to do. So that keeps me busy. So that keeps me busy. I'm very grateful for the devotees from Houston. I'm very grateful for the devotees in Houston. Are going to who are helping me? Who are helping me? So tonight we were reading at. At seven o'clock every night in Indian time, I speak uh, one hour on the Chaitanya Lila. At seven o'clock every evening in the Indian time, I speak on the Chaitanya Lila. 
and uh, or just up to Lord Chaitanya taking sannyas. Yeah, just up to Lord Chaitanya taking sannyas. Today, Krishna Bharati Maharaj gave him the name Shri Krishna Chaitanya. Today, Keshava Bharati Maharaj gave him the name Sri Krishna Chaitanya. I said that name was pronounced from the sky. Actually, that name was pronounced from the sky. I used to give him the name Shri Krishna Chaitanya. That you should give him the name Shri Krishna Chaitanya. And uh, Keshava Bharati said, because Lord Chaitanya is Krishna himself. Because Keshav Bharati said, because Lord Chaitanya is Krishna himself. By introducing the Sankirtan movement, he has awakened us to these souls. By introducing the Sankirtan movement, he has awakened these sleeping souls. Which we say in, in the Chaitanya or so that his name was Shri Krishna Chaitanya. Which we say Chaitanya. So his name was Shri Krishna Chaitanya. So he liked the name. Have you liked the name? So he liked the name. Everyone liked the name. All the devotees present started to chant. All the devotees present started to chant. Hari Haribo. Hari Haribo. Hari Hari. Hari Hari. Jai Jai. Jai Jai. So, I am a very insignificant jiva. I am just a very insignificant jiva. And uh, Prabhupada was served much better by uh, Tamal Krishna Goswami. Prabhupada was served better by Tamal Krishna Goswami. I tried to serve, but I was always his servant. I was. I tried to serve, but I was always his servant. But he was called away by Sri Prabhupada. So he will call me by Srila Prabhupada. And, uh, but I'm very blessed to have uh, Tamal Krishna Goswami's association. And I'm very blessed to have Tamal Krishna Goswami's association. Uh, first in San Francisco and later in Calcutta and Mayapur. First in San Francisco and later in Calcutta and Mayapur. Uh, and then uh, also in Houston. <laughs> And then also in Houston. And in uh, Dallas. And in Dallas. So, the human life is actually meant for serving Krishna. So, this human life is actually meant for serving Krishna. And uh, taking this opportunity, we should make a goal of our life to serve Krishna. And taking this opportunity, we should make our goal of life is to, for serving Krishna. Uh, while we have senses, there will be a certain amount of sense pleasure. So while we have senses, there will be a certain amount of sense pleasure. And also the senses give us suffering. And also the senses give us suffering. But this is not the goal of life. But this is not the goal of life. The goal of life should be to serve the senses of Krishna. The goal of life should be to serve the senses of Krishna. So, bhakti is being free from all material designations. So, bhakti is being freed from all material designations. And using our senses to serve the master. Of the senses. And using our senses to serve the master of the senses. The master of the senses is Rishikesha. And master of senses is Rishikesha. He is Lord Krishna. He is Lord Krishna. So, we are very fortunate. Our very nice deities. We are very fortunate. Very nice deities. By serving the deities, serving Krishna. And by serving the deities, and by serving Krishna, we get all the uh, good fortune. We can get all the good fortune. Actually, in a few days, the 18th of, uh, of September. Actually, in few days, on the 18th of September. One month, this, the uh, Purushottam month begins. For one month, the Purushottam month begins. And uh, that month is especially for devotees. That month is especially for the devotees. 
to chant the holy name. To chant the holy name. To worship Radha and Krishna. To worship Radha and Krishna. So, give charity. So to give charity. To bathe in the, in the holy river. To bathe in the holy river. If you can't bathe in the holy river. If you can't bathe in the holy river. And chant the name of Ganga. You can chant the name of Ganga. Three times while taking the bath. Three times while taking the bath. Ganga. 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 And then your bath becomes Ganges water. Then your bath becomes Ganges water. And this way, on the day of uh, on the month of Hrshatam, all the second months, all the twelve months in the year. So not equal one sixteenth of the first month. In this way, all the sacred months of the year, it's not equal to six, one sixteenth of the Purushottam month. But it's not good for Shubha Karma. But it is not good for Shubha Karma. It's especially good for Bhakti. It is especially good for Bhakti. And uh, whether one has no desire, all desire, it's the gate to Krishna's service. Whether one has no desire or has all desire, they should engage in Krishna's service. And this way, can we live peacefully and happily this life? In this way, we can live very peacefully and happily in this life. And then go back to Godhead. And go back to Godhead. Back to Goloka. Back to Goloka. So, this is a special blessing of the portion of one. So this is a special blessing of the Purushottam month. On once every about three years. Which happens once in three years, about three years. So I'm very happy that somehow by Prabhupada's mercy I've been allowed to remain in devotional service. I'm very happy somehow by Srila Prabhupada's mercy I'm being allowed to remain in <sighs> devotional service. And uh, I can only say that by doing the service. And I can only say that by doing the service. Uh, getting unlimited spiritual bliss. I'm getting unlimited spiritual bliss. I hope that all the devotees will please take advantage of the mercy on the entire Gaur. And we request that all the devotees please take advantage of the mercy of Nithai Gaur. Take advantage of the great Teachings and example of mercy of Prabhupada. And take advantage of the teachings and example of Srila Prabhupada. Uh, to engage in devotional service. To engage in devotional service. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. I'm very happy to see how the husband and wives are couples uh, are engaging in Krishna service. I'm very happy to see how the husband and wife, the couples, are engaging in Krishna's service. This is the perfection of human life. This is the perfection of human life. Uh, the acharyas have sung. The acharyas have sung. Grihe tako vane tako sada hari vali dako. Grihe tako vane tako sada hari vali dako. Hari ar grihasta, hari ar nirinasaga. Chant Hare Krishna. Whether you are a grahastha, whether you are in the renounced order, chant Hare Krishna. Make your life perfect. And make your life perfect. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. There are a couple of questions or requests for Maharaj. First one is from Mr. Vasudhi Guru. What are the events leading to your sannyas? See, uh, Prabhupada called me to uh, LA. You see, Prabhupada called me to L.A. At that time I was in Toronto. At that time I was in Toronto. And he told me that he would send me to India. And then he told me that he would send me to India. As soon as Achyutananda had his own place. As soon as Achyutananda had his own place. I went and I opened up the Chicago Temple. And I went and opened up the Chicago Temple. Along with Bhagavan Das. Along with Bhagavan Das. And then uh, I was called out and... Prabhupada told me to go to India. And I was called up and Prabhupada told me to go to India. So I flew to London. So I flew to London. I went to India. Then I went to India. I arrived in 
And he went to that place in South Calcutta. And then, after a while, Prabhupada said he would give him sannyas. And then, after a while, Prabhupada said to me that he would give sannyas. No, he gave the nine devotees in L.A. Oh, he gave nine devotees in L.A. sannyas. He asked Achyutananda and myself that he wanted to take sannyas. And he asked Achyutananda and myself, you want to take sannyas. And uh, at that time I thought it was a very glorious thing. But at that time I thought it was a very glorious thing. I still think what? Still they are. But uh, I see it's very difficult in the West. But I see it is very difficult in the West. To be a sannyas. To be a sannyas. I was fortunate I was in India. I am fortunate I was in India. However, not so difficult. Not so, however, it's not so difficult. <laughs> anyway. On Radhasani day, Prabhupada gave Achyutananda and myself sannyas. So, anyway, on Radhasani day, Prabhupada gave myself and Achyutananda sannyas. He said Achyutananda was the tenth sannyasi and I was the eleventh. And he said Achyutananda was the tenth sannyasi and I was the eleventh. And now I think I'm the oldest sannyasi still alive. <laughs> now I think that I'm the oldest sannyasi still alive. Basically, that's what led up. So, basically, that's what happened. Other Thank you so much, Maharaj. The last question we have is from Kola Bhiva Pranadas Prabhu. Prabhu. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj. Please accept my respectful obeisances. I wanted to understand some of the tactics to engage the people in devotional services. We just received the Srimad Bhagavatam says during the pandemic time. As our temple is closed now, we can't invite them to visit the temple. So what are some other ways we can help them to connect to Krishna? Your eternal servant, Kola Jiva Prandas. This will be the last question. I say, uh, since we can't use, people uh, you know, are restricted in coming to the temple. See, since people are restricted from coming to the temple, uh, we were finding that using the internet is a very good way. We had been finding that using the internet is a very good way. At the present time, there is a three-day Namahat Sammelan. At the present time, there is a three-day Namahat Sammelan. And uh, I heard that yesterday morning, 18,000 links are accessed. I heard that yesterday, 18,000 links were accessed. In the morning. In the morning. In the evening. 25,000. And in the evening it was 25,000. And each link may have many people. And each link may have many people. Similarly in uh, Chennai, Tamil Nadu. Similarly in Chennai, Tamil Nadu. They had Bhagavad Gita easy class. They had the Bhagavad Gita easy class. 18 days, 18 chapters. 18 days, 18 chapters. 9,000 people. Joined up. 9,000 people joined up. I told this to Bangalore. To Bangalore. I told this to Mangalore. And they also started a, a uh, program. And they also started a program. They uh, got, they didn't have money to uh, buy the Zoom account. They didn't have the money to buy the Zoom account. They got from Microsoft meeting. So they got from the Microsoft meeting 25 free programs. 25 free programs. Each one has about 275 capacity. Each one can have about 275 capacity. Like that they had 10 to 11,000 people each so, time. So like that they had 10 to 11,000 people. And uh, they've done it three times now. So they have done it three times now. By using the Zoom or Internet. So by using the Zoom or Internet. 
We have uh, Sada Haridas in uh, Chennai, he is an expert on social media. We have Sabda Haridas from Chennai, he is an expert in social media. And he gives classes. He gives classes. Over the internet. Over the internet. How to use this social media platform. How to use this social media platform. For preaching. For preaching. I think that here's the good. A lot of preaching. I think that Houston could do definitely a lot of preaching. I don't know if you're on uh, Mayapur TV or not. I don't know whether you are on Mayapur TV or not. But in that way, you can be accessed uh, all over the world. So in that way, you can be accessed from all over the world. All right. All right. Hare Krishna. Do you like our ad-free videos? Be sure to subscribe to our channel. We publish new videos every day. And don't forget to like and share our channel.